welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another Marvel Action Hour. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends from their X-Men line and kind of, sort of, X-Men the Animated Series and X-Men 97, for those of you familiar with the cartoon. But I'm happy to have an updated Marvel's Angel, the Avenging Angel, Angel, or Warren Worthington the Third. There's a couple accessories in the box along with some gorgeous wings, excellent artwork all over the box. They just basically mirrored imaged it. On the back side, you get a nice illustration, and as always, just a little teeny tiny blurb about the character you've just collected. Here's the barcode, mine shipped in from Entertainment Earth, and for those interested, if you stay throughout the video, I will tell you how you can save 10% off with my links and potentially get free shippings to boot. You gotta order a bunch, but you get the idea. So. In the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends from their X-Men collection, Warren Worthington III, also known as Angel. So now here's everything taken out of the packaging. You simply attach the wings, you got an extra head portrait, and you've got some alternate hands to boot. It's very simplistic, but oh so effective. This is the update we've all been waiting for. Now, with the extra hands, they are just simply outstretched hands. We also have fisted hands. The extra head portrait is a bit of a change up in the way he looks with the headdress portion of his costume. He has a bit of a gambit thing going on. This particular one goes down to the bridge of the nose and has points on the cheekbones, whereas the one he's got going is basically just gambits in red, and he's got his hair, and well, you get the idea. The colors are nice and crisp. The paint is nice and crisp. He's got his Halo logo right there on the front, but really, it's the wings. It's the new wing technology that after all the years of angels and archangels and toy biz and Hasbros, and this is the angel figure uh, we've been waiting for because it's segmented wings that fold out. Like I said, it simply attaches right in the back, so you can leave these off if you'd like, but Angel does not get that chance to just remove his wings, unless by force, of course. But you have really nice foldable wings, and that is the best part. It's a standard action figure with gorgeous wings. That's really it. Is he back heavy? Not really. If you get him in the right stance, yeah, you're going to be just fine. Of course, he's going to be back heavy in some situations. It's all about the stance. Again, like I said, same exact articulation we've all seen. He's pinless throughout, so that's a nice aspect. It's just nice to see all these new updates coming for the Marvel Legend line. It's been a long time coming, and I'll give credit where credit is due. I think that they're finally hitting a little bit better of a stride in packaging and look and character selection because with Marvel's Angel, he does pose out very nicely, and it really is all about the wings. Those are the main center point of a character like this. If the wings fail, who cares anymore, as you'll soon see with some comparisons in this video. But to achieve that stance, that look, that is awesome. And for that, I'm very thankful to have this figure. Now, to simplify Angel in terms of X-Men the Animated Series, because X-Men 97 is rocking it, and I'm all about X-Men the Animated Series at the moment. You can pair him up with Cable. You can even pair him up with Rogue. That was a really lovely scene in the sense of him asking her, how does she fly without wings? And basically telling her what a curse it is to have physical wings. But then, of course, lo and behold, in that moment, upon entering that lab on Muir Island, searching for Dr. Adler, it's revealed Mystique and Apocalypse have other plans for Warren Worthington. And unfortunately, no, there is no cure to mutancy. However, Apocalypse has other plans because he wants Angel on his team of horsemen. And the Archangel is born and proceeds to then fight the X-Men. Those are great episodes, classic episodes. Just the things I think about with Angel, Archangel. Archangel, Angel, always was a little bit unhinged. Now, if you have the previous Archangel, yes, those blue head portraits will fit on this version of Angel. However, 
I can almost guarantee they're probably going to do the blue costume, which I would love for them to do the metal wings with the blue costume to then better fit his later incarnation on X-Men, the animated series. But I'll tell you, this isn't Hasbro's first foray into some pretty good looking wing articulation because with that Sauron build a figure from years back, that was pretty stellar. Although I will say with Angel, with this new wing setup, it is the best Angel to date. They nailed it on this one. But dang, that Sauron build a figure was definitely amazing. And lo and behold, yes, they do look great together. Also, for those of you who are fans of Psylocke, even though this was not the costume that he had in the animated series, you could potentially put these two together. But like I said, this is a great start for the character of Angel, but this is not the first time we've had Angel. Just to show you the blast from the past with the original Toy Biz Angel, everyone remembers the Sentinel Build-A-Figure wave. However, I do carry fond memories of buying that Angel at KB Toys, but this one is definitely a vast improvement in the totality of not only action figure, but wing technology, which leaves us with a, a little bit of a nod to the past while also being a part of of the future. So with this angel, he will go very well with some other X-Men in your collection, specifically the original team. While they may not have their original costumes, well, dang it all, these all look terrific together. So for those of you still with us, I'm going to do my quick entertainment earth spiel. So thank you very much for giving it a listen. If you liked what you saw in this video for the Marvel Legends Angels, simply type that up in their search bar and lo and behold, like some kind of magic little X-Men joke, he will pop up. Now, as of this video, he says pre-order. I did the same thing, ordered him, no problemos, actually shipped the next day. The one caveat to saving some money with my links is that it has to say in stock. So if you are an X-Men fan, you can head over to the Marvel Legends Wolverine anniversary figures, and they do have some in stock as well, like the Patch and Joe Fix-It. So that would be the one caveat. You get 10% off on everything in stock. It has to say in stock, of course. And then if you want to save on free shipping, you have to have an order over $79. So in this day and age, it's really not that hard to get those prices going, let's be honest. But I highly recommend Entertainment Earth, especially for all your X-Men needs. I use them myself. They ship well, they ship fast, and no problemos. If you run into any snags, they have excellent customer service as well. So definitely check them out. Guarantee you'll find something there that you like. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends, Warren Worthington III. Angel, the Avenging Angel, Marvel's Angel, whatever you want to call him. He's got some issues, that guy. At least from how I know the character, and specifically how I know the character in terms of the animated series. Of course, you can go over and over with all the various incarnations, plot points from the comics, but X-Men, the animated series, definitely, we'll say, brings it a little bit more close-knit so you can actually understand what the holy heck is is happening so you've heard my thoughts now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything angel and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember how good is x-men 97 my god and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios <laughs>